Hi my wrestlers, hope you're fabulous and it's fabulous to have you back here if you're a subscriber and if you're not, why haven't you subscribed yet and give this thumbs up if you love this kind of video and you love all my stuff, what I do of course why wouldn't you and yeah, <laughs> that's basically it so in this video I, I'm going to be still going on about this book because I felt it was really cool and it's worth talking about I'm going to be doing Worry Monsters and I'm going to be making my own wiring monsters and then it says that you have to kind of lock them up in a cage and stuff but I don't know if I quite would squish them step on them yeah, that's a bit harsh isn't it I think I might revamp them so they're like not horrible anymore make them into nice monsters rather than horrible monsters squishing them and hurting them is a bit deep isn't it So for my first worry monster, what would I worry about? Imagine the worries as little monsters. Might it be hairy with sharp claws or simply a blob that sticks to you? Okay, so I'm going to have a think what kind of monster mine would be like. To be honest, worry monsters I think would be quite dark colours, wouldn't they? Okay, I don't think this is going to show this off to my artistic ability, I must say. So I'd say one of my worries was, so was, because then I'm going to say how I changed the way I thought about it. So I'm going to do him grey. Uh, I don't know how to draw him. I might draw it. Uh, it's like a cloud maybe. So I suppose it is like a cloud that is over you. So one of my worries was always felt like I've been judged and watched and always worried what people thought of me. This is not going to be the best of drawings, okay? I am an artist but I like to take time with my drawings and these are just little kind of quick doodles and thoughts <laughs> so don't think too much about it and then of course because you're being so it's a little cloud I thought it was like and because you felt like I was being judged the time I felt like I had so many little eyes looking at me but like you know that them creepy eyes they're kind of a bit like bat eyes, kind of. Okay, they've got no pupils. They don't really look like eyes either. Mm. Okay, this is not really the <laughs> look like how I thought in my head. I don't think it really has legs and stuff, but it kind of just like hovered around me. And as like it was hovering, you felt it take all. Everyone was like looking at you and all its energy was like, it, was getting, it got bigger and bigger. This is not good. I'm explaining it better than I've drawn it here because this is really not that fabulous. Yeah, so okay, this drawing is not amazing at all. But yeah, so it felt like it was like a little cloud and it has like really beady eyes like bats. And then it has a little mouth where all its like judgment of me is going into him and I felt like everyone was watching me and being judged and then I came to terms with how I thought people are going to judge you no matter how you are or what you do and if you're being you and there's nothing wrong with being who you are and you shouldn't feel that you were judged all the time and there's always going to be haters going to hate, aren't they? As the saying goes. So I felt the way I got rid of feeling like this is to think it more positively. So I'll draw it again how I now would see it. So instead of a whole lot of darkness and monster, it says you can step on them, lock them away. But I think they should turn into something positive and turn into evolve into something nice rather than something negative. So now I think about all these positive vibes of these people who I felt either are going to judge me or 
how uh, they're watching me yes okay people are watching me watching everyone that's that is just how it is so I felt with how people who are watching me why don't I inspire them why don't I like make them feel positive about themselves then want to go up there and be like oh I really like her I want to be friends with her I want to get to know her I I'm glad that I make someone smile and stuff like that rather than taking it all negative in so then I would draw a cloud what is it still be a cloud because it's meant to be a monster and that is its shape I would make it into maybe a purple cloud yeah let's go with purple purple's always good purple cloud it's still got a mouth of course still got its eyeballs because they're not going to change but they could turn into light blue so they don't have to be black anymore and like i said it, i felt like it was taking all my energy and getting bigger and bigger but this could up the same way it is taking my energy well not taking my energy but using my energy but getting bigger in a positive way so this is like a positive monster cloud now and all the energy going into this monster cloud <laughs> is all fabulous so that's how i would interact with this book i don't know if you want to give it a go if you do then let me know and put in the comment box below and it'll be fabulous to hear what kind of monster you would draw and that kind of stuff really so yeah so it's the same kind of thing same scary monster but it's turned out positive and of course i would give it a little rainbow as well except my rainbow is not the right colours probably at all you can even do some stars around him because now he's a fabulous little monster oh check him out or her out well positive energy monster so it goes from a negative, I don't know, dark monster into a positive energy monster cloud. Oh, that's quite cute. Even doing this is like very therapeutic. And then he's got a little mouth as well. So he's still got a mouth because he's a monster. And he, instead of like taking all the horrible words and stuff, shouting them at you, he could be like, you're amazing. You're all that positive stuff coming out of his mouth instead of horrible stuff yeah that is my important stuff so yeah hope you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel it would be fabulous and see you guys later